Don't tell me you already guessed the ending. Partner? Hello there. Come on. I'll say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. Hey, partner! <coughs> Buddy? Bonjour. Hi there, mister. Hi there. Hi there. Hey there! Hello. Hi, ma'am. Monsieur? Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state Hello. of the morning for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Ball Over here. Mm. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scott. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Oh, hey, friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Hey there, partner. Content vous voir. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the... Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. So are you done with the silent treatment now? No. Hey! Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tally. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Some bad bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? 
Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming after us. Get back here. Hey, stands for when. So it's time. I, I read it in the newspaper. Oh, so it must be true. So they tell you your dog be cat now. So we just start calling him Mitch. They do the same thing. Facts. They make half of them up. Good day, dear. Morning to you, partner. Morning, buddy. Hey there, mister. Hides, bought and sold. Clothes and sundries tailored. the problem. 
problem, friend. Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> Ow. Come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Friend. Morning, please, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Pistol. Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Buenos dias. Hi there. Morning, sir. Morning. Uh, buenos dias, senor. Hello, sirs. Fine morning to you. Enjoy the day, ma'am. Fine morning to you. 
What do you think you're doing? Hello, ma'am. Your face looks familiar. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. 
twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Okay, my girl. <laughs> Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's are gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. Come on. We're not riding in there. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Someone's here somewhere. Come on. We're too late here. Ben, stop. Shh, shh, shh. Shush. Hey. Quiet. Oh, uh, 
sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. My friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. Shh, hold up. I think I heard something. What? Either the dead are waking up, or somebody's trying to wake them. Okay. Come on. You see anything? Get in cover, and we'll bust it. I hear something in there. You boys found my puppies, watch it! shot at us from robbing grave robbers we've hit the big time we can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it Arthur kicked off. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it! Come on. Let's go around the side.
Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just try it back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side. Get back to Dutch. So much for the quiet approach. Get this done. It's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He'd best not be playing games with us. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah! Like I said, you took your time. Ah! I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, Thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? 
She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa deal with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Moving up. Sounds good. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! <clears throat> Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well... We met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Kid back. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky this time. Okay, speak later. Okay, then.
Lágrimas vine llorando y con la flor del trompillo me venía consolando. Yo soy como el coyotito. You know me and you should go get some drinks in San Denis sometime. I ain't saw that's a good idea. Ah, come on. It was one bad night. No stopping you, Karen. You better believe it. We did it. Yes, we did. Thank God. Okay. Guess so. See you later, then. All right, then. Well, I should get back to it. Okay. Mrs. Adler! Hi there. Hey. You're not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. Well, you take care now. Well, I'm not much company. Take care. You ain't joining the party, Reverend? I don't want to ruin it. I'm feeling sorry for yourself. Sure is nice seeing the kid back around. I don't know if I could have gone on much you longer. You settling back in? I like it here. Lots of places to explore. Oh, what time did I go to sleep? You seem in a good mood. I do? Well, we need to get you out on another job again soon. All right, Arthur. Mrs. Ed. Hello. Last lug of whiskey was a mistake. How are you? There he is. Hey there.
My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Oh, there he is, <laughs> big bad Morgan. <laughs> Not now, Uncle. I ain't in the mood. 
drink cow piss instead of milk again? <laughs> You're milking the wrong bit, son. Milking the wrong bit. <laughs> That's a metaphor, by the way. If you say so. <laughs> or is it a simile? I, I can't remember. I feel like I need some cow piss myself. <laughs>